Good evening, folks. Thanks for watching tonight. I mean, it is priceless audio. I love this story. It's about time somebody stood up and said it just like this. Teamsters President James Hoffa has the Tea Party playing the victim, and I love it. They're playing the role of the victim. They're so offended. Hoffa warmed up a massive crowd of people in Detroit, Michigan, just before President Obama took the stage to give a Labor Day speech. Detroit is one of the main fronts in the Republican ideological war on the American worker. Hoffa fights the battle every single day in this country, and he nailed the Tea Party where it hurts and where it's the we truth. We've got to keep an eye on the battle that we face, a war on workers. And you see it everywhere. It is the Tea Party. And you know there's only one way to beat and win that war. The one thing about working people is we like a good fight. And you know what? They got a war. They got a war with us. And there's only going to be one winner. It's going to be the workers of Michigan and America. We're going to win that war. <laughs> President Obama, this is your army. We are ready to march. Let's take these son of a bitches out and give America back to America where we belong. Now, this is just Ed talking. I think he's spot on. Now, this is an ideological war going on in this country, and liberals need to fight, not with guns, not with knives, not with commercials that uh, talk about young guns and what they represent. Just do it at the ballot box. Because the fact is, Republicans in this country, since the takeover of the Congress, have done nothing for jobs, have done nothing for the middle class, and have done nothing but obstruct this president trying to do something for the country. They've obstructed him so much, and the president has, of course, been one olive branch after another. That's what's frustrated liberals in this country, and that's why I think President Obama's numbers have eroded. It's not eroding because the conservatives don't like him. Those numbers are eroding because liberals in many parts of the country are very frustrated that nobody in the White House is talking like James Hoffa. Do you think the Republicans are sons of bitches? Well, I think they are. If they're trying to take away uh, food out of the mouth of working people, what kind of a person does that? Uh, what kind of a person tries to take away collective bargaining from public employees, from firemen, from policemen, from teachers? What kind of a person wants to have uh, go in and, and basically take away their pensions? Uh, you know what? That's a bad person. And that's the kind of people we're talking about, because that is the war on workers. Uh, the war on workers started January of, of this year. The minute those people got in, one of the first things they did was to introduce right to work in 14 states almost simultaneously. That is the Tea Party, and that's their agenda. And do you, uh, so, and do you, you know, believe, I'm very proud of what we did. Uh, uh, you're very proud of, of what you said. Uh, I think a lot of people are proud of you, too.